cousins, everyone that done crossed my life, you have my sincere condolences. But I know Bernie. I've known her since 2003. And one thing she wouldn't want, she wouldn't want us to be sad. No. She wouldn't want us to be miserable. She wouldn't want you to halt your life because of her. Because because of her, she created a way for you to move on. I want to talk about the integrity of a strong black woman that I know as Bernie. Bernie strived, and Bernie worked hard to get to where she is. And I I was just devastated. And it's getting easier with time. As a friend, she was a loyal friend. Couldn't ask for anymore. I don't oh. know. Bernadette was my girlfriend. She was my girl. She was my ride or die. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, this sister's a better friend than I could ever be. And that's why I'm here today. I knew Bernie before she had children. <laughs> and we were girlfriends, we'd go out for cocktails. This sister was a class act. Yes, she was. Very strong and loyal spirit. Always. God has truly blessed her <laughs> with love and family, mom and sisters. That was my home girl. <laughs> I heard somebody say my ride and not you. Yeah. Bernie had my front. Bernadette was the glue to our crew. Yeah. All right. That's right. That's the right. You can say that. Cars, <laughs> parties, barbecue, <Yeah. laughs> travel. Yeah. I met Bernie doing what she do best. She networks. Yeah. <laughs> She's always networking. Yes, sure. She's always doing business. She was not a businesswoman. She was an entrepreneur, a mentor, all of that in one. People used to describe her as snooty. Up you know, bougie, classy, classy, classy. 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 women. women. <laughs> <laughs> she inspired the race to fierce. fierce. And hold your head up. And if you stay night, Miss Brenda in her room, matching top, matching shoes. Girl, I'm going out. Oh, you know, Miss Brenda, that is like, she is the queen of life. And what I know, and what I told Shari when I heard this, this sad, terrible news, is someone that big, someone that fabulous, they don't go. They're with us forever. Right. So, yeah. To be here and to see that so many people love her. And I know that she is still here with us. Um, even the talks that Shari and I have, um, whenever I was able to talk with her while I was going through cancer, she gave me a lot of wisdom and kept me going. Um, and I know that it was hard for her, but she kept fighting. And my grandma is a living proof that 90 years old and that. still right. fighting and pushing that, like she instilled something in us. Um, it's very hard to know that she was not. I've had to climb and do this and do that and make it up the stair, but you keep struggling. You keep going. Amen. Don't stop because of me. Amen. And that's the way uh, uh, Bernadette was. Uh, her cup was always half full, it was never half empty. Mm -hmm. And I told them to, um, so she could sleep, and then I told them, so what happened was that all of her counts are coming up, and those numbers that are vital to her, her life, which is her white count. Right. And when the count went up, everything went up, her blood is fine, but her mom, Her lungs were very cloudy and they looked like they're getting a little cloudier, which was making it very hard for her to breathe. Yeah. Well, so, when, and when I seen her, she was panting. And so then she, so you can have all the information. Then, after they did, then they said, okay, what, this is your option. Either we can, her counts are coming up, but her lungs are still getting a little cloudier, which means her body is, is to the point where it can fight infection on its own, which is no problem. Like, it's getting to that point. Because if they get to a thousand, then she can, uh, her body would save this off sufficiently. 
So then now, and so it, so the count draw come out. So then they say, well, for us then to know what's going on, to get a better picture of what's happening in our lungs and to run a DNA test. At this point, because they got arrested where they can go to and find out what's going on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Sit these doctors up here. They, so you know, some of them, we have to ask God to go. I, I ask God already. Well, it's all three of us do it. But we have to ask God to guide the doctors in. Who mm -hmm. made this motherfucker? He ain't God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he is not God. So we have to ask God to take his tool that he made and, and heal mom. And give, yeah. her, give her, give her, Genesis 6 hey, and 1. No more pause. Give her her 120. Do yeah. this. Yeah. You know, Genesis 6 and 1. 120, that's what you got coming. That's the, and I ain't seen nobody live to 120. Yeah, I mean, live to live past the hundred mark. Very few live past the hundred. That's, that's that's real. Grandma's ninety. Mom's gotta I make mean, it. Her sister. All her sisters done beat cancer. They might be down here in the middle. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey. <laughs> Are you knock me out? <laughs> I love you so much, mama. And I'm a party for you. I'm gonna do it big for you. Cause you were so big. And we gonna celebrate you. We gonna continue all your days. I love you. And I miss you. And I just wanna be half the woman you are. And I love you so much, mama. But I won't let him see me cry. So I love you, girl. Fly high.